What was the name of that album? Traumatized. And you had to clear that as well? Yes, sir. So once you clear it, I see all these different people. I see all this different riffraff going on. Mm -hmm. It seemed like things <laughs> went ballistic. I'm being real. Oh, because that's, no, if you notice, every single, every single uh, project that Megan has dropped has always been beef with me right before it happens. What? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Oh, man, you know, like I said, um, when I seen you the other day, you had on the Boss Talk, man, and you were going to some meeting. Boy, I was so happy. I said, my <laughs> boy got it back on, man. He ripping for yeah, me, nah, man. For sure. What was that all about? Um, when I had it on? Yeah, when you going? Ready, when I was walking in the office. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm um, getting ready. I was going to a deposition practice. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we so just getting ready. Everything um, going good? Winding down? Yeah, man. I, once you, I mean, I finally got to the deposition. They did mine. So at some point, she have to do hers. And, uh, you know, we can move forward to trying to wrap this thing up. You know what's going so on for years. Was that the mm. last project that she owed you, the last one she done? It no? was the last project, but we had a dispute about something for the hotties. So um, okay. that's what we, that's what we, that's what our dispute is about because we didn't consider that a, a album. Okay, okay. Mm. Right. And um, it was like she tried to throw a bunch of um, old mix, mix, uh, old, a bunch of old freestyles and songs that she really know wasn't like real good songs and just threw them on the, um, do them on a, on a project and try to call it an album. So whenever you have a contract with an artist, um, is it in detail to say, this is what an album consists of? Uh, yeah, pretty much. You get the contract and it's kind of like you gotta buy it to those outlines. So it does say what, so she yes. she knows what is supposed to be in in yes, the album. Exactly. So she just didn't do what she was supposed to do. Well, you know, everybody just thinks you can just put the time, you know, because mm -hmm. it says 43 minutes or whatever and you just, Okay, we got the time on it. That's it, you know. But it's other things mm -hmm. that you have to do as well. Okay. So, my thing is like when they first when that album first came out, Which I heard one? The, the the last one that they did just done. Right. What was the name of that album? Traumatized. And you had to clear that as well. Yes, sir. So once you clear it, I see all these different people. I see all this different riffraff going on. Mm -hmm. It seemed like things <laughs> went ballistic. I'm being real. Oh, because that's no. If you notice, every single. Every single uh, project that Megan has dropped has always been beef with me right before it happens. Why? I guess that's part of the marketing strategy that they like to use, you know? So, um, for whatever reason, you know, it's always... It's always beef for I me. I gotta ask you. I gotta <laughs> ask you this, man. Like I seen things with Sauce Walker. I seen things with it was somebody else too. They was talking about doing you a T. Ferris, a, a celebrity boxing that was, match. That was me asking him what, to do that. What the hell was that about? Man, T. Ferris is just a sucker to me. You know. What so I'm you want to box him? <laughs> yeah, man. But you know he ain't gonna do you, that. You, how, I mean, you, how, how much would it take? How much would it take? Can you fight? I have to mess with guys. Yeah. You put them gloves on. So how? I mean, how? Does that conversation even come? You like, man, you just mess around. Like, if you want to do something like box or something, you know we could do it. Take it to the ring. I put it on the thing. I put it on the. Uh, I put it on the internet. No um, response. He over there acting tough with, around Megan. Like, you know, you know, I ain't saying I ain't the toughest dude. I'm just saying, you know, me and him, we both know each other since nine, ten years old. Yeah, y'all grew up. We're not gonna do each, nothing to each other in the streets or nothing right. like that. You talking this and them saying that, well. You know, we could just do it the old school way. I know they don't do it like that no more. But nah, you know but what I'm yeah, yeah. Like, we the man, him the same age. So y'all used to catch y'all will get into it. You know, Zero and Trey got into it. So yeah, I know y'all will like fight that. it out mm -hmm. and try to figure it out. But I, yeah. you know, making it something that everybody got to know about. I mean, Sometimes paid the money, take pay the proceeds to your favorite charity in Houston. You know, <laughs> that's man. it. Hey, man, they said they talking about we need to have them two uh, cards on the same. Uh, them two fights on the same. Same card. card. Yeah. That'll be hard. That'll be hard. <laughs> That'll be hard, man. I love. I show a pay for it. It might start a trend. I pay for it. I'm coming. I pay for it. That's what I'm saying. Would you pay for it? That's what I'm saying. It might start a trend where if anybody yeah. have any beef like that, yeah. that's the best way to go with it and like just make that. some money at the same time. Well, that I, is. I had Jake Paul and told him to uh, help me out. You know, set it up for me. <laughs> you know what, what did you hear back from? I don't even. Nah, it's <laughs> like that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One Yeah, we gonna talk.